Do you want crazy high FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite Chapter 6? Well, I just found Peterbot's secret settings and the results are insane. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to unlock these hidden tweaks so your game feels smoother, faster, and more responsive than ever. So, let's jump right in. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The first thing we are going to do is clean out junk files from your PC. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box. Then type temp and press enter. A folder will open showing a lot of files. These are only temporary files that your computer no longer needs. Select all of them and delete them. Now repeat this process again. Press Windows plus R, but this time type percent temp percent and press enter. Another folder will open. Again, delete all the files inside. Don't worry if some files can't be deleted, just skip those. Doing this will clear out unnecessary junk, free up more storage space, and help your PC run faster. By removing these useless files, Fortnite will have more free resources to use, giving you smoother performance and fewer slowdowns in the background. Step 2. Use all CPU cores for Fortnite. In this step, we will unlock the full power of your CPU so Fortnite can use every processor core. Press the Windows key and type System Configuration, then open it. When the window appears, click the Boot tab at the top, then click Advanced Options. A new box will appear. Check the box that says Number of Processors, and from the drop-down list, select the highest number you see. This number is the total number of cores in your CPU. Click OK, then press Apply and close the window. Now, your CPU will run at full potential. This gives Fortnite more processing power, which means higher FPS, smoother gameplay, and lower input delay. Your shots, builds, and edits will feel much more responsive. Step 3. Using NVIDIA Profile Inspector Settings for Fortnite You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector to unlock hidden settings that can boost FPS and reduce input delay. These settings are not available in the regular NVIDIA control panel. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector. At the top, in the search bar, type Fortnite. If you already downloaded my custom settings file from Discord, you can import it directly. If not, set the options manually. In the anti-aliasing section, set transparency super sampling to 0x00... Tetra 0, 0008. In the texture filtering section, turn on driver controlled LOD. Then set LOD bias DX and LOD bias OGL to plus three. These settings reduce small graphics details like grass and shadows, which makes the game run faster because your GPU has fewer details to render. Set negative LOD bias to clamp. Set texture filtering quality to high quality. In the power management section, set power management mode to optimal performance. Once done, click apply changes. These settings are especially useful for low-end or mid-range PCs. They make Fortnite smoother with fewer FPS drops by focusing your GPU power on performance instead of useless graphics. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance for Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Next, we will use a tool called MSI Utility V3 to make your hardware talk to Windows more efficiently. This helps reduce input delay and make your system more responsive. After installing, open the tool. You will see a list of devices connected to your computer. Find your graphics card, GPU, in the list. Tick the box labeled MSI next to it and then change interrupt priority to high. If your computer also has an integrated GPU, like Intel graphics, repeat the same process for it. Tick the MSI box and set interrupt priority to high. Click apply to save the changes, then close the program. This tweak lets your GPU and CPU communicate more directly and at higher priority, which reduces input lag and improves smoothness in Fortnite. Step five, improve CPU performance. Using Throttle Stop for Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. To make your CPU even stronger for Fortnite, we will use a program called Throttle Stop. Go to your Tools folder and open the Throttle Stop folder. Double-click throttlestop.exe to open it. When it opens, you will see different modes like performance mode, game mode, internet mode, and battery mode. Choose game power plan. Tick the box next to high performance. This tells your CPU to always focus on maximum performance. 
Now, look at sections like clock mode, set multiplier, and speed shift settings. Do not change anything there. Just tick the box called Disable Turbo. This setting keeps your CPU running at a stable speed and prevents overheating or sudden slowdowns during gameplay. Finally, click Turn On, then click Save. Keep Throttle. Stop open in the background while playing Fortnite. This is important because many CPUs automatically slow down when they get hot. That can cause lag spikes in games like Fortnite. Throttle Stop prevents those slowdowns, keeping your performance stable. Step 6. Make your keyboard faster. Using filter keys, set her for Fortnite. You can download and access all the files in one place from my Discord server. I'll also provide the links in the description. Now let's make your keyboard react faster using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the program and you will see three settings. Ignore. Under. Set this to zero milliseconds. This removes any delay when you press a key. Repeat delay. Set this to 130 milliseconds. This controls how fast a key starts repeating when you hold it down. Repeat rate. Set this to 10 milliseconds. This makes your keyboard repeat key actions very quickly. Check the box on the right side to turn these settings on, then click OK to save the changes. This will make your keyboard more responsive, which is super useful in Fortnite. Faster keyboard input gives you an advantage in building, editing, and reacting quickly during fights. Go onto our settings and let's see how to get the lowest delay possible. And I know most of you guys are watching this video for what rendering mode to play on, and of course I'll tell you that in two seconds time, because this is super important by the way. As most of you know, there is now two performance modes you can play, but firstly, the graphics settings. Brightness? Play on the maximum brightness you possibly can. That's because in dark corners sometimes it's super dark and you just cannot see the enemy, so make sure you're playing 150%. Colorblind mode this season, by the way, the best colorblind mode is to have it completely off. User interface parallax, I have that on personally. Then view distance I have on Epic. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a content creator. I don't play like a pro, so make sure if you wanna play like a pro, that's on there, textures also on there. Measures also on low, make sure that is 100% as it is by the way. 3D resolution, if you have a good PC, you can definitely play on 100%. If not, you can bring it down just a tiny notch to around 95%. You'll hardly notice the difference in your graphics, but this setting right here will make your frames go up about 50 to 60 frames, literally by going down 5%. And now back to the rendering mode. Which one should you play, performance or the legacy performance, which is the older one? Now, this is what you guys need to do. There has been so many tests on to play old or new. If you have an AMD CPU, you need to be playing with the normal performance mode. If you have an Intel CPU, you need to be playing the legacy performance. If you have an Intel CPU and you're playing the normal performance mode, your graphics will be so bad and your frames will be so much worse than playing the legacy. I'm sure most of you Intel users, right when you load up Fortnite for the first time, you try playing on the normal performance mode, the newer one now, and you saw your frames actually go down. Well, that is definitely true. That's because Intel needs to play Legacy, AMD needs to play Performance. If this complete guide on Peterbot secret settings helped you boost FPS, reduce lag, and make Fortnite smoother, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this with your squad. Stay tuned for more secret settings and pro tips to dominate Fortnite.